Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link, and let's jump right into it. So look at our live radar here. It's quiet today after very stormy weather yesterday. The cold front associated with that stormy weather has moved offshore, giving us a temporary break in weather. Very nice conditions today into tomorrow. Uh, but we are tracking the potential impacts here for Hurricane Lee starting Friday night into Saturday. So let's take a look at now as of 11 a.m. this morning, tropical storm warning now issued for areas of Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. So with a warning here, that means that uh, tropical storm conditions are expected in the affected areas in pink. Our immediate area here in uh, on the Rhode Island coast, Block Island, as well as parts of southeastern Mass are staying in the watch area, but we will continue to monitor as uh, the National Hurricane Center sends out updates later today if that area does end up getting expanded or if we'll stay under the watch. Let's take a look at the current statistics for Hurricane Lee right now, which has weakened a little bit to a Category 1. Still a strong Category 1 hurricane here at 90 miles an hour. It is now moving due north at 14 miles an hour. And again, we're expecting to start to see the impacts of this moving through Friday night into Saturday morning. So let's take a look at that updated forecast here. Again, this is as of 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, so here's Saturday at 9 a.m. here where it's still a Category 1 at 75 miles an hour. Um, and the Cape and the islands here are expected to get the majority of the stronger impacts from this. Although we are looking at wind gusts around 35 to 45 miles an hour as well as some rain uh, in our immediate area here in Rhode Island and southeastern Mass. So as we continue on throughout Friday and Saturday, this is the time frame again, Friday night into Saturday, especially Saturday morning and early afternoon, where the Cape here is going to be strong, seeing the strongest of the impacts with two to four foot storm surge and winds up to 65 plus miles an hour here in our immediate area, looking at around 35 to 45 miles an hour. So seeing more kind of like a uh, nor'easter setup here as far as winds uh, rather than pure tropical storm or hurricane impacts. But with all the saturated ground that we've had over the past several days due to all the heavy rainfall, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw some down uh, power lines, trees down, so power outages are definitely still probable or possible as the storm passes through in the next couple of days. Let's take a look at this afternoon where again, seeing a break in the weather today with nice weather throughout the remainder of the day today. Uh, staying sunny and dry with temperatures topping out in the mid 70s here. Some clouds are going to start to build in as we head towards this evening with more mostly cloudy conditions on Friday, uh, leading the way to those potential tropical storm impacts as we go into Friday night and Saturday. And here's your forecast for tonight as well. Much cooler tonight and less humid with uh, lows in the upper 50s. So you could definitely crack those windows open, give the AC a break here. Much more comfortable overnight tonight uh, with some clouds continuing to build into the area as well as we head towards Friday morning here. And as always, you can uh, get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com. We also have uh, real-time updates with Hurricane Lee uh, as the information comes in. So check out that page, Tracking the Tropics, on our website as well as we continue to monitor the situation over the next couple days for potential impacts.